Hi folks, this is Şefik. In this video, we are going to focus on command line facial recognition with DeepFace. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Even though DeepFace is a Python library, it comes with its own command line interface or shortly CLI. This feature is recently added by Onur Ulusoy. That's why let me thank to him. In this experiment, I'm going to work with unit test items of the deep face. You will be able to access those images in this URL. There are more than 60 facial images in this folder. You need to run pip install deepface command but i already run this command and deepface package is already installed in my environment run deepface command in my command line this is the documentation here i'm going to call deepface function again and deepface has several functions one is verification function in this experiment i'm going to call it verification function and this verification function expects two different arguments mandatory image one path and image two path when i call the face command in my command line i'm going to call that verification function firstly that's why here i'm going to send verify argument as its first argument and verification function expects two mandatory inputs first images path image one underscore path and second images path image two underscore path here we are going to send the first images path and i'm already in dataset folder you can set the folder here let's verify image one dot jpeg and image two dot jpeg as you can see both image one and image two are images of angina julie this is returning a list of tuples verified k is true this means this image pair is same person and you can find some additional information the distance between those two images is 0 0.25 and this is less than the expected threshold 0 0.4 and in this verification we are using vgg face facial recognition model by default and we are using open cv power cascade face detector and finally cosine similarity metric for distance by default you can also find the detected facial area in both images in the response message if you want to change your facial recognition model face detector or similarity metric you need to send them as an argument for example dash model underscore name let's set it to face net and let's set detector underscore backend to mpcnn and finally similarity metric distance underscore metric is going to be euclidean this time our facial recognition pipeline is using facenet facial recognition model mpcnn face detector and euclidean distance and result is still true this time the found distance is 7.5 but the expected threshold is 10 and our distance is less than this expected threshold that's why result is true here detected facial areas are mentioned this is important for images with more than one face for example here couple.jpg is consisting of two faces in this case if i compare this couple.jpg with image one.jpg the face is going to focus on the most similar one with the other pair let's see it here i'm going to change the first images path to couple.jpg and now it's comparing couple.jpg with image 2.jpg and the result is true this means the most similar one the face on the left is the same person with the image 2.jpg here you can find the detected facial area in the first image now let's focus on a false negative case now I'm going to compare image 1.jpg and image 3.jpg. One is belonging to Angelina Julie and the second is belonging to Jennifer Aniston. The face is returning false in the verified k because the distance between this image pair is 15 and it's greater than the expected threshold for face net 
and MTC and Ampere. We can also perform facial attribute analyze function of deep face in the command line, which covers age, gender, emotion, and race and ethnicity prediction. To perform facial attribute analyze module, I'm going to call deep face command and call it analyze module. This time I'm going to send just an image. That's why argument is going to be image underscore path. And let's set this to image1.jpg. Now the face is returning a JSON dictionary for image1.jpg. Here you can find the probabilities of six different emotions. But as you can see, the dominant emotion is happy for this feature. Similarly, you can find the detected facial area, which is covering a rectangle similar to this. The apparent age is 31 years old for this image. The gender as woman, as you can see, the face predicts this image as 99.99% woman. And finally, it predicts the dominant race as Latino Hispanic among those ethnicities. So in this video, we focus on command line facial recognition with deep face and how to run facial recognition pipelines in shell scripts or base scripts. We had run verification and facial attribute analyze module of deep face in this experiment. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.